Hey guys, it's Liz here. Your more is better girl. Happy Friday. What are we doing today? As you can see, we are doing more is better decorating. Oh yes, we are. I have literally come to terms with the fact that your girl loves to enhance a more robust look. Yep, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are, we're going hog wild with the foyer. If you know me by now, you know I break all the rules in interior design decorating. I just do. It's, you gotta do what you love and really there should be no rules. You should just do what you like, you know what I mean? And so some people put one table in their entryway and add a light and just make it cozy so that when you're walking in, it's welcoming, it's pretty, it's cozy, that kind of thing. Do I put one table in my entryway? Heck to the no, I've got one here and I'm adding two more. Bam. Now you guys know we live in a much smaller house and I know some would say, Liz, you know, you need to open the space. You need to let it breathe. No, 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 no. Not this girl. Mm -mm. I want to let you guys know, as an Amazon associate, I am privy to some of the great deals they offer for limited times and in limited quantities. So let me tell you, somewhere in this video, I will be inserting um, some hot deals where you can save anywhere from 40 to 70% off. So be looking for that. And I thought I might share that, you know, maybe once or twice a month where I find hot deals that are in this, you know, decorating niche and that you guys may like. So uh, be looking for that. If you don't want to see it, you can just skip ahead. You know, no worries. But I'm always here for you to kind of find you some good deals at decent prices. So, all right, on to the video. Okay, guys, to start, I'm going to be adding some wall pegs or hooks. They're beechwood in color. I found them on Amazon. I'll link them below for you. They're really the latest, greatest rage. I'm seeing everybody put these in their homes. And... I've lived in Arizona. It kind of brings me back to my Arizona vibes. I don't know, but I love them. And I thought they would look really great here in the entryway. Not necessarily for hanging your purse or coat. You can, totally can. But for me, I'm using it more for decorative purposes. Okay, unfortunately, I did not video myself installing these, but I will tell you super easy installation. You want to use like a piece of uh, painter's tape and make sure it's level and then space them out accordingly. What I did was I took the peg and I stuck the screw in and just wound it in. Then I took it to the wall uh, with the point pointed screw out and just screwed it in and you know to my desired uh, spacing. And like, it was super easy. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can. You can use them with or without the anchors. I recommend the anchors because if you do that, you can hang up to 25 pounds on each hook. So it's awesome. All right, let me show you these hooks. You can find these hooks on Amazon in varying sizes, widths, colors, stains. Um, I got the Beechwood color and I got a four pack because I wasn't sure I was gonna like the look until I got it on the wall. And I love these hooks. And I am finding a multitude of ways to use them in my home. Um, you guys know I love the wood accent cathedral windows. I mean, and I hang wreaths on them, signs on them, a multitude of things from them. Th this is where these would come in handy and give it a really cute eclectic look. You can use these in your kitchen. You could hang a cute apron. You could hang tea towels. You can hang cute kitchen signs. I'm baskets. Uh, oh my gosh, just sky's the limit with these. So anyway, let me show you what I did. So most people are hanging um, for spring, really cute hats from them, watering cans, a basket with some greenery cascading outward that kind of thing. But again, if you're coming in your front door and you wanna hang your purse, you could certainly do that or throw your jacket up there too. But 
let's just be honest, I got them more for decorative reasons. I mean, hello. Okay, so what I'm planning to hang from my peg is this really cute basket from Amazon. It's a wall basket. And when I initially went to hang it from this, it gets, the peg gets hidden because it's up, you know, hanging up so high. So I ran and got some burlap ribbon and I just tied it to the basket so that it drops lower and then you can see the peg. So let's hang it. This also will allow you to use this basket year round and simply change out the florals for whatever season we're in. So uh, yeah, you know, and you could get as fun or extravagant as you want with your florals. You add some twigs, add some greenery, add some pops of color. Now every entryway should have a mirror so that if the doorbell rings, you can like, do I look okay? If you were sitting at the table eating, you can go, do I have anything in my teeth? Let's add that mirror. I love it, love. Okay, so as you see behind me, we have a dog-proof gate. This gate I got on Amazon. So if you have grandkids or pets and you need to keep them away from the upstairs, I highly recommend this gate. It's amazing. It opens and closes with such ease. It's, it's, I mean, I would prefer not to have it, but I don't want my carpets ruined from pets. So yeah, we, this is a must. It's a must. Last weekend when we were in Short Pump, Virginia at the Lazy Daisy store I told you guys about, I came across this adorable stool. It's black on the top. It's distressed um, on all sides. And I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna place this down here and then we're gonna add a table and a plant. Next, I have this basket. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Love the texture. You could put this indoors or outdoors. It's like that PVC stuff. And then it's got a liner. Um, I'm gonna place an olive tree in this. And here's the beautiful olive tree. Love it. And yes, I'm compacting things in this little corner here, but it's so me. Also keep in mind, if this was a heavily trafficked area, I wouldn't put this here. But again, there's only three of us here. And my daughter who's in high school, she she's here, but she's in and out all the time. So it's not like it gets a ton of traffic here. Next up, I'm adding this cute wood table. I found this at Home Goods years ago, but I've also seen similar ones almost identical to this on Amazon. So I'll, I'll try to link that below if you like this little table.
All right, one quick change here. I got this beautiful rug on Amazon. It has just gotten filthy from all the mud from the construction outside, as you can see. So I'm gonna switch this out. And I will tell you, I am not switching it out for another rug that's gonna show the dirt and the grime. So I'm going in with something rather unconventional, not typically used for the entryway area. I'm using a comfort mat, one that I can rinse off when it gets dirty. You see, when I get my floors all vacuumed up, I usually go in with my mop. And my mop, I, my, I just use my mop right over these mats and they are perfectly clean. And I thought, yep, that's what I'm gonna have to do until all this construction is done. It's gonna be months before it's done. And I just, I'm tired of looking at it. So I am going in with these. I found these at Ross. I have this one. And I found this one. This one's larger, so my thought is really just go with this. They didn't necessarily have the pattern I was looking for, although these are cute. This one is just very, very cute and casual, and I do like the design of that one better. My thought is it kind of goes with everything a little bit better, although it's smaller in scale. So I am just gonna put that there for now. Hey, at least I've got a backup to the backup. Actually, the smaller one sort of opens up the space a little bit, which is kind of nice. So if you have a smaller home and you've got tight quarters right in your entryway, you know, you might try something like this. Yeah, I'm packing it, but it's because I like it that way. Okay, I'm going to start layering. I'm going in with yet another stool. I found this one, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. It looks like this. I love the uh, scalloped detail right here. We're gonna set this on top of the table. You'll see why. Next. I have this beautiful stone lamp and I love the shade. I love the texture of it. I love the color of it. And I'm gonna set that on top of the stool. By the way, this lamp is super cool. It actually has a dimmer, so you can make it really bright or dim it for the evening hours. I love those pegs, the beechwood color, because it kind of goes with this shade that also has a beechwood looking color as well. Okay, now we're moving on to the second portion of the video, which is redecorating this yet again, yet again. 
So what we have here is this cute cathedral window. I got that at Vintage Antique Shack in Virginia. And then I have this piece that I found at Home Goods. And um, I'm bringing in some yellow. I have this beautiful wreath from Target. I got this last year. Look how cute it is. I just love it. It's so cheery and happy looking, isn't it? I'm gonna hang that by a tack right there. Isn't that cute? I love it. So if you have a um, so if you have a cathedral window, just add a thumbtack to it. You can hang wreaths, signs, whatever strikes your fancy. Next, we're adding a riser. I found this on Amazon. I love it. It's distressed and it's got the cute little feet and I'm going to set that right over there. Now we're going to add this cute lamp and we're going to set that on the riser. Okay, next, I'm gonna add this big, huge vase. I got this at HomeSense and it was $49, but it's huge. It's huge and it's heavy, it's good quality. Next, we're going in with some greenery. I got this at Target. Okay, next we're going in with Mr. Bunny and I just placed a cute little uh, bow around him. We used him before in one of the last vignettes. He's staying, I just, I couldn't give him up. He's one of my favorites. I'm not stopping there. I know, I know some of you are saying, let's put the brakes on. No, I can't, you know that. I found these cute little vases at a place called Menards. I, I, I had never even heard of that store before. It's kind of like a Lowe's, but even bigger and better. And they have home decor items too. And so when I saw these, I'm like, oh, those are cute. I like that they're neutral and I thought I could do something fun with it for spring or summer. But in this case, I just, I love the color. It's going with like the whole beechwood look. So I'm gonna put one here. I just flipped them. I put the tall one here, this one here. Move the bunny there. I'm not done. Let me go get more stuff. Why does this name always escape me? What are these called? I literally have been standing here for five minutes going, what are these called? What are these called? I know you guys will know. They sell these on Amazon, I'll link them below, and then you'll know the name of them. Uh, but in any case, I'm gonna strategically place these. I'm telling you, that bunny always cracks me up. When I look at him, he just looks so mischievous. It's like he he's doing something he shouldn't. He's like.
Okay, friends, as promised, I want to briefly touch base on the cost savings here on Amazon. They are offering huge promotional deals on these rugs you see right here for a limited amount of time. So I'm just kind of showing you as a visual how to access the page, number one. I'm going to have it linked below. You'll click on it and just kind of watch what I do. And then if there's any rug that kind of strikes your fancy, you'll know how to take advantage of the cost savings when you go to check out. And just make sure to validate that you're getting the savings when you check out. I mean, 70% off, woohoo! All right, my sweet friends, that will wrap up my Friday video. I, I just wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for all of your wonderful comments on Wednesday's video. Guys, my daughter has started a sport and so we are just crazy busy over here and I didn't have a chance to go through the, I mean, I read the comments, I just haven't had a chance to thank you guys. So thank you so much. How completely embarrassing. Here I am talking to myself with my light ring right here. And the UPS guy comes up to drop off a box. And because I have a window in my front door, he was like, like, what is she doing? And I was like, the things I do for you guys. He's probably thinking, who's that Looney Tune that lives at that house talking to herself? Anyway, have a great weekend, everyone. And I will see you soon. Mwah! Love you guys. Bye.